Hello, today we'll review measurement of the hot coating on the headlight samples. Uh, the sample is a curved PVC uh, with the silicone based hot coating. Uh, we use a simple film, film stock with the PVC, interpenetration layer and um, hot coating. So before we'll start measurement, uh, let's just see uh, the raw signals from the two samples we're about to measure. So if we go to uh, measure intensity monitor and now uh, place manual probe on one of the samples, uh, it's uh, sample A. Uh, we see there's a, there's a signal, there's a lot of uh, uh, fringes. Uh, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten peaks. If we look at uh, another sample, we see there's uh, also peaks, but there's less peaks. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so um, the lesser number of the peak there, the thinner is the film, basically. Uh, so this film is thicker uh, in our first sample. So now uh, let's do calibration. We'll, we'll use the quartz plate to calibrate. Uh, uh, and now black pad. Uh, this is our calibration. So the red line is the uh, uh, reflectivity of the quartz plate and the blue line is um, actual signal in counts from the arrow spectrometer. So um, let's try to measure our first sample, sample A. Ah, so um, we don't want to really continue because we, we want to use the thick film algorithm. So this is our uh, reflectance spectrum. There's a lot of uh, uh, fringes. Let's. Uh, Let's remeasure it. Okay, so we have uh, 3.7 microns this peak, and the second peak is uh, about one micron. Now, if we look at this spectrum, uh, the last peak is actually total thickness. It's not the thickness of the layer, it's a combination of the thicknesses of all the layers. Uh, so, um, to measure it correctly, we need to put here interface layer. Uh, interface layer, what it's supposed to do is to uh, measure this thickness, and the second uh, layer is a difference between these two thicknesses. So, we can just recalculate. Uh, so, we'll have now correct value. It's two and a half microns and about one micron. So one micron is interpenetration layer, two and a half microns is actual coating. Uh, now we want to measure a few points on the, on the sample. But the first, uh, let's um, clear the measurement history so we can see the uh, results. So, point one, point two, point three. Actually, here we missed. Um, okay, let's go further. So now if we will go here, uh, we'll see that's, uh, that's one of the measurements we missed. So we want to remove it. Um, so coating is relatively uniform. Uh, and we can see here the 
uh, absolute standard deviation averages and uh, all the statistics we want uh, for both thicknesses. Uh, so now, uh, yeah, we can we can export this value, but uh, we'll just create to measure another sample. So another sample supposed to be thinner. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, so this sample is actually. Uh, doesn't have ribs, and uh, that's why the signal is stronger. So we have very strong peaks. So this is their total thickness, uh, and this is uh, uh, thickness one of the layers of interface layer. Uh, so we have 1.6, 1.4. Uh, here we are miss the thickness. Okay. So again, it's uh, look like very stable, but uh, less uniform than the, the previous one. So if we go again to Measurement history, that was the one we missed here. Uh, so we have one thickness and uh, another thickness. So if we want to export it, we can export it, let's say, CVS uh, format to Was sample C. So now we can um, open it in Excel spreadsheet and see all the all the thicknesses. So let's try some other sample, which is also flat, should be easy to measure. That's uh, very similar. So uh, it's very simple. Yes, there's a, there's one peak here. It's a very thin layer, but this peak is ignored because this is just a, a shape of the curve due to their dispersion. It's not a layer. Uh, it's a, it's artifact. So we just uh, ignore it. Uh, the way to ignore it, we put here that uh, uh, anything below 0.4 microns is uh, not considered. Uh, thank you for listening.